Thousands of people lose their lives around the globe every year due to disasters. Disasters including floods, bushfires and earthquake. But the answer to one question is still unknown. Are we prepared to deal with the next disaster? Developed countries and developing countries both are aware of their affected regions. Few areas are prone to flood in every summer season and people lose their lives. Still, they are unable to save them. We know that the technology is so advanced. Let me share an interesting fact. Uber owns no cars. Airbnb owns no houses. Amazon owns not even a single store. Still, they are ruling the world because they are using technology. They are using artificial intelligence, machine learning. In terms of disaster management, there is a huge gap. Gap in terms of when there is a flood, there is no electricity. When there is no electricity, there is no telecommunication system. And in the absence of telecommunication system, disaster management teams are unable to evacuate the victims, unable to save the people's life. People lose their lives, livestock, cops, and their, everything is devastating. In terms of disaster management in my PhD, keeping in mind the global flood management goals, whether they are societal goals, tactical goals or operational goals, I am using commercial drones available. I'm making them smart, intelligent and automated enough so that they can go to the affected areas. They can look for the possible survivors. They can make their swarm look for buildings, roads, houses, they can find the shortest path, they can use digital elevation model so that they can determine whether this route is safe to travel or not, whether this road is damaged, how much extent of damage is there, how much water is there so that they can evacuate the flood victims and save their lives. Developed countries including Australia, UK and USA are still relying on satellite imagery. Developing countries are apart. Still, developed countries are relying on satellite imagery. So I am using commercial drones so that this huge research gap could be filled. And my research is also aligned with the Sendai framework goals of 2030, build back better so that we can help evacuate survivors, we can save their lives and we can make everything in terms of disaster management easy for them.